Hello, and welcome to the Capital Wasteland. More specifically, to Greyditch. Throughout this post-war town are a number of small details that we can discover, and now that I have, I present to you five things you may have missed in Fallout 3's Greyditch. Greyditch is a small settlement not far from Megaton. Its residents have all but disappeared, with Brian Wilkes being the only remaining survivor. Opposite the boys' home is the Brandeis residence, which we can go inside of and snoop around. Here we can find a terminal where the owner, William, recorded his thoughts. Reading through the notes, we can learn that the man has traveled with his family from Navarro and expresses his concern after repairing a radio and hearing an enclave broadcast from John Henry Eden, the current president of America. Without playing Fallout 2, there is no way of knowing that this is a throwback to a previous game. Navarro used to have an Enclave military base and an oil rig that was the Enclave headquarters just northeast of San Francisco. This was destroyed by the Chosen One, along with the former president, Dick Richardson. After the oil rig was destroyed, William deserted, taking his family with him across the country and settled down in Greyditch, acting as the town's doctor. After hearing John Henry Eden, he now knows that the Enclave are still operational and have elected a new president. This leads him to believe that they have been following him. His final resting place is inside the Marigold Metro Station, surrounded by giant fire ants. As we progress through the town's main quest, we are presented with the responsibility of finding Brian Wilkes a new home. If asked, he recommends going to Rivet City to search for his Auntie Vera Weatherly, which you can do and is the best possible outcome for the boy. A safe location, with plenty of food, and most importantly, with his family. However, there are three other options that we can explore, each being worse than the last. We can take him to Maya McCready in Little Lamplight, which is safe, just not as safe as Rivet City. There's less food, and Brian will comment that the children here are weird. We can simply leave him in Grey Ditch with no safety, starving and alone or do the absolute worst thing and sell him to the slavers at Paradise Falls. If this is done, the boy will disappear from the game completely. Next, we have the scientist, Dr. Weston Lesko. This is the man responsible for the current state of Greyditch and is named after the scientist, James Lesko, the protagonist from the 1974 science fiction horror movie, Phase 4. As you can see from the poster, both the movie and video game have a crisis involving ants. When you first encounter Brian Wilkes, if you agree to help him, you will receive the quest titled, Those. This is a reference to the 1954 black and white monster movie titled, Them. Once again, you can see from the poster that it too has a crisis involving ants. And lastly, the entire quest of those mirrors that of another quest from one of Bethesda's other games. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion has you reuniting long-lost twin brothers Gilbert and Reynold Germain, just like you do with Brian and his Auntie Vera. You have to defeat the Redguard Valley Ogres, same as with the fire-breathing ants of Greyditch, and the brother's home is called Weatherlier, which is suspiciously close to Vera's surname Weatherly. And there we have it. Five things you may have missed in Fallout 3's Grey Ditch. Before you go, I would like to remind you of five things you could do to support the channel. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and enable notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.